Hey, what's going on everybody? Monty here. It's been about a week, week and a half since I made a video. Uh, this video is uh, just an update on the 3080. Uh, so if you guys have been following, EVGA just introduced uh, a Q-like system. Uh, that's the way if you auto-notify on any of the graphics cards, 3000 series, 3080, 3090, uh, it automatically puts you in a Q-based system. Uh, for me, I checked mine because um, I've been, you know, F5 spamming since uh, they announced it. And for the 38 for the win, Ultra 3, uh, shows I registered on uh, 923, September 23rd. Uh, so that's good. Um, kind of sucks that uh, it was about five days after they announced it, but it is what it is. Still haven't got a card. Uh, the other day I waited three hours uh, in line at Micro Center. Uh, so that was kind of a waste of time, really. Uh, they said they were getting a truck. They didn't know. Um, so it was just three hours wasted more or less two three hours wasted um cards are not in stock anywhere i looked everywhere i can't seem to find any of them um i just want evga for the one three i don't want anything else and right now i'm just uh i'm just waiting you know waiting like the rest of you guys right so uh 3080 for the one ultra three that's what i want to get and i'm just holding out uh i know that nvidia they said thursdays are uh, I'll, I'll link a Reddit link uh, thread in here uh, for you guys to check out as well, but shows you how to check your uh, uh, clicked auto notify. And uh, the Jacob uh, said that they're going based on, um, you know, whoever signed up first more or less. So since I'm the 23rd, I'm five days out. So it'd probably be a couple weeks to a month maybe for me, maybe, maybe not that far. Um, and I did see like whenever they announced that, I don't know, a couple days back, uh, there's probably a lot of people that hit auto notify afterwards. So if you were to go do it now, that means you probably won't be able to buy one. Probably. I would imagine it's probably pushed out till next year. Uh, I don't know exactly how many cards they are getting, uh, even Nvidia put, you know, came out and, and said there's going to be a, a, a shortage, which is really funny. Cause they say it's a, uh, not a supply problem. It's a demand problem. I said, well, that, you know, just me thinking myself, the common sense says, well, there must not be that much of a supply if there's a huge demand, right? They can't uh, meet the, the the needs of all these customers. So I know EVJ gets X amount of cards and, and so on and so forth. But uh, really what I was just kind of, I was just trying to get a card, right? And now we're in the Cubase system, which, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is, you know. Um, I just have to wait. It's not really a big rush. I still have my 2080 Ti back here. Anyway, so it really does not matter, uh, but it's just, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just really just waiting like the rest of you guys. Waited a micro center for uh, in line for three hours, um, and yeah, it uh, there was nothing. Uh, there was a return of a 3090 uh, right as we're standing in line, and my uh, brother actually picked that one up. That was pretty funny. Um, it's like $1,700 for an MSI one, super expensive, but I just wanted a 3080 and like most of the other guys that were standing next to me is all, we just wanted a 3080 also. I think just the price and the, and the performance and the value you're getting out of it is just, it doesn't make sense to, to get a 3090 for, for me at least, but for you, it obviously will be probably different depending on how you use your card. But yeah, so, uh, just kind of waiting, um, just reading all the news. Uh, there's a MSI, uh, starlet partner scandal or something you know they're selling some cards for uh scalper prices on ebay that was a pretty interesting read i'll, I'll drop that down below as well uh yeah the the evga the plan to, to beat the bots supposedly now that's not to say that a bunch of bots can't sign up but thankfully for people that already auto notified prior uh to the past couple days prior to like say the fifth or the sixth you're probably good as far as getting a card so i did mine on the 23rd at 6 a.m., uh, 6 something. And uh, I was reading the Reddit uh, thread, and people said that uh, since they're on the 17th, like there should, people that auto notified on the 17th, the day that they announced it for the one threes to come out, that they're already getting their ship. Like they're able to place their order on that, 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 that special link that they get emailed to them from EBGA. So they're able to buy, they're able to pretty much more or less check out without the site being overloaded. It's because you can only check out if you have a special link from EVGA, which means you had to click auto notify pretty much whenever the graphics card came out. So that's a good thing. As far as the website goes, it, it fixes the stability problems that you're running into. It's because now we don't have that and people can actually check out now. That's not to say that people can't just have a bunch of bots and do the same stuff they're already doing. That's really, you know, not really any different, but 
you know, this way it seems like a lot more people are getting cards now, so that's good. And I will be getting mine eventually. I would probably say, I would guess maybe two to three weeks, I'd probably get an email to buy a card, which it doesn't really matter. It's because by then it's going to be November. It it's I'm okay with the wait. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, this whole this whole thing with Nvidia trying to get trying to get a three thousand series card has just been nuts. It's uh, like I said, my brother picked a thirty ninety up. That was a return. It was an MSI, nothing special. Uh, but uh, that card's kind of kind of overkill and a lot a lot of money. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get a thirty eighty just like you guys. I'm still waiting. Uh, just kind of you know working and sleeping and working and sleeping whenever you get to be an adult you you understand that uh so time is just kind of going by right and uh yeah i'm just uh watching the news like you guys are so i'm still here um plan on um i want to make some benchmark videos before and after like i said when i switched to 3080 from a 2080 ti i just want to see the difference that i'm actually getting myself i know game benchmarks you know, I can look online and then they show it, but I just want to see my specific configuration. And that's what I plan on doing um, here, hopefully in the next couple weeks. It'd be really nice to get an email uh, today or tomorrow, but that's likely, um, th that's very unlikely to happen, right? So, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, EVGA, I, I did see uh, all them cards are still listed on eBay. I don't see anybody buying them. If you click on uh, on eBay, if you go to completed listings on the left, you'll see actual cards that have sold, and they only seem to be around like a thousand, maybe twelve hundred max. That I what I was able to see, and I looked a couple days ago, so it might be different now. But that goes to show you that those cards that are selling for thousands, that's just all bullshit. None of that's gonna sell. It is what it is on eBay. You know, it's uh, I, I'm not gonna buy a card on there. I don't think anybody wants to buy a card on there really, unless you got money to just blow, uh, but, and you really want a card. Remain, uh, optimistic about the, uh, EVGA virtual queue, uh, see where it goes. Like I said, I, I did mine on the 23rd. I will link that Reddit link, uh, down below as well. And you can just check that, uh, you know, it's really cool being able to see, being able to see like, uh, everybody that plays theirs. And I'm not saying everybody's, you know, they're full of it or anything. I, I'm, it seems about right as far as people getting their cards. Some people getting those emails right away and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it, it's interesting to see, you know, people going to micro centers and stuff. And when I went to micro center, there's probably seven people in front of me already on lawn chairs waiting. I got there, I don't know, an hour before they opened. And, um, you know, once we got in, they automatically said they had no cards. Uh, these are just regular salespeople. Then we went to the build your own, me and just a couple other guys. And then that's when they said, oh, well, we don't know. We think FedEx ground or FedEx is coming, whatever. Uh, and there's probably cards on there. So we waited like two hours at that point inside. And uh, the truck never came. So I said, screw it, and went home. And uh, I've been checking their website. Obviously, their website is just a placeholder for the product. And uh, it's not going to show in stock. You know, it's going to be an in-store only thing. So it's going to always show zero. And uh, yeah, so Micro Center doesn't have any. Best Buy doesn't have any. NVIDIA.com seems to put theirs up on Thursday from what everybody on Reddit is saying. So that might be something to look at if you're trying to get a Founders Edition. I'd love to have one. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to go with the EVGA, with the one that I, just the brand that I like. And uh, yeah, so I'm reading one right now. It says, just got my EVGA product reservation email for the 3080 for the Win 3 Ultra. I signed up on September 17th at 8 a.m. for reference. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that goes to show you this was a couple minutes ago. And I'll link it, like I said, below as well. So you guys can see everybody that's trying to buy these cards. When they're getting them, when they're getting an email, when they're purchasing them, shipping, and so on and so forth. And I kind of just been watching it like a hawk just to kind of get an idea um, you know, obviously I'm five days past 917 and I would imagine, uh, at that point, uh, I, I don't know how many people auto notified. I, I really don't. Um, 50,000, you know, I, I don't think it's in the millions. I, I don't think, I'm not saying it's not popular, but I just, I, um, it's not an iPhone, you know, uh, iPhones, obviously they, uh, they announce those next Tuesday for those people that are interested, the iPhone 12s, but, uh, this isn't an iPhone, right? So the craze, I, I don't think. I don't even think, I don't even know if 50,000 people signed up for it. I mean, that's still a lot of people, maybe. Um, and that's quite a lot of graphics cards. But as far as, like, shipping goes, like, compared to an iPhone, that's, that's like, nothing, right? I don't know what iPhones sell, uh, millions a year or whatever. But uh, graphics cards, I would imagine, 
I think between the auto notify now, I think there's probably a backlog, obviously, but I don't. I think the 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 demand is probably would be over in the next couple months. I'd say by the end of the year, there probably won't be that much of a demand for it as there is obviously now. But I also don't think, I don't know. I feel like the scalpers are going to see like, you know, with the queue system, they can't flip something really quick. And as the market, as, as these cards become more available, you know, scalpers, they got to get money. I mean, it's not unlimited. So I, I think that they'll be available. Um, I want to say probably the end of the year, I want to say you'd probably be able to just buy a 3080 probably without, without much of an issue, end of the year probably. Uh, but right now, everybody's going nuts uh, trying to get one of these cards. So, um, yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. If you guys were wondering where I was at, you know, just working, being an adult, uh, kids to take care of, that kind of thing. So uh, I'm just trying to fit these videos in after work. Uh, it's not really a problem, uh, but I was just kind of waiting to get 3080 so I can make some more content for you guys. So it's kind of what I'm waiting on at this point. I want to do some benchmarks, like I said, back to back from 2080 Ti to 3080. I just want to see my my jump that I get on my own computer, my own setup, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to be at least 20% from what I'm seeing on YouTube, anyways. So that's a good thing. But uh, yeah, just waiting to 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 get me a 3080. Uh, if I did a notify on 923, that means I would probably I'm going to say I'm probably two to three weeks out. I would say stock wise, just a guess. I, I don't know. Uh, shoot, I can get an email Monday, next Monday, saying uh, buy the card. But I would think that a lot of people originally probably auto-notified. And since Jacob said, uh, you know, the auto-notified, the original one that you did uh, would be the first, would be the one they go off of, not if you did it 20 times in a row, for example. So if that's the case, and that means... Um, you know, for us people that signed up, we just got to wait our turn, you know, and wait in line. It's not really a big deal. Kind of sucks for those people that sold all their graphics cards that don't have anything now until HD graphics, but it is what it is. You shouldn't have sold it. Um, but you know, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, as far as the, um, as far as the cards being gimped, you know, 25 megahertz, whatever it is, you guys watched these two cents, one of his latest videos. It seems like it was just like a like a BIOS bin, like a like one bin they 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 restrict. And, you know it is what it is, whatever. Um, comparison wise, it's still twenty percent plus faster than what I have. That's good enough for me. Um, as far as overclocking goes, it seems like the for the one three ultra uh, that is at eighteen hundred megahertz. If I'm not mistaken, I'm just thinking. Uh, so eighteen hundred, so that's boost. So even if you boost it close to two thousand, still not too bad considering you know an overclock on a card. Uh, boost overclock. It's kind of my thoughts on it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are, if you guys are on the auto notification squad, if you guys are uh, waiting in line, if you just auto notified whenever it first came out, or if you auto notified, uh, you know, a day or two or today, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. We can talk about it. Um, like I said, just waiting on, waiting on that email from EVGA so I can be in, uh, so I can go ahead and purchase my card, my 3080 for the Win Ultra Three. Really what I'm waiting on. Uh, other than that, it's just work, 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 right? So, um, yeah, appreciate you guys watching the video. Drop a comment down in the comment section down below. If you guys want to add anything to the discussion, talk about anything, any games, any uh, benchmarks, PC components, whatever, Apple stuff. Um, other than that, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. I got 500 and so subscribers. I'd like to get to 1,000 so I can give this 2080 Ti away. I figure I'd be able to buy a 3080 before uh, I'll be able to give this one away anyways, just based on I need about 490-ish subscribers still uh, before I can um, uh, hit 1,000 subscribers. So uh, we'll be giving that 2080 Ti away whenever I hit 1,000 subscribers, so it'll be a giveaway of some sort. Uh, either way, please subscribe, like uh, like the video if you guys thought it was cool. Uh, comment down below if you guys uh, want to talk about 3080, the EVJ for the Win 3, um, computers, whatever it is you guys want to talk about. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching.